What's up, guys? This is Reno Ranchero, and we are doing another episode of the Hunger Games Live series. This is a series where I play the Hunger Games solo and commentate while I'm playing. I have done multiple episodes, probably in the double digits now for episodes, and I really do like these series because it gives me a chance to talk to you guys, uh, play the game, talk about my strategies, and stuff like that. So, if you can tell, I am holding a minor pickaxe. That is because I am playing the minor kit. Uh, I really do like the Miner Kit. Traf 12 has always endorsed the Miner Kit, and I like to talk about Traf 12 just because it's fun to say is IGN Traf 12. And so it is going to be a great game, guys. I am heading off to the swamp right now. A strategy you can do, I'm sure many of you already know about this, if you own the Hermit Kit, you can choose Hermit and then type slash spawn, and it'll basically teleport you directly to the swamp. And then you can choose the kit you really want and uh, go to where that area is. So. It's kind of a little strategy to find the swamp in every game, and you don't necessarily have to play the Hermit Kit unless you want to. But I don't want to play the Hermit Kit because, well, it's kind of boring. Yes, it's fun. It gives you the advantage of soup, but it does get boring, and I like to have a little bit of fun. So I don't see people chasing me right now. Sometimes I think people are chasing me, but I'm paranoid, and it's just like my own footsteps lagging. So I think that's the case here. So we're going to get some mushrooms in the swamp and hopefully have a really nice game. Um, the miner kit's going to help me mine for iron. It's going to help me dig for people. It's just a really nice kit. I would definitely recommend it for all you people out there. So I have 26 of each. Uh, I only have 30 seconds. I really do want a stone sword, but I am worried because someone could just run in and kill me easily right now and then that would be really bad. So, uh, you know, I'm going to risk it though, just because YOLO, because why not? It's a live gameplay. I want to take some chances. So we're going to get about seven logs, and with my minor pickaxe, it'll be really easy to get a stone sword, because all I have to do is go one, two, and I'll get a third one just for good luck. That makes no sense, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, make the sword. I already have the pickaxe, so everything else can go to bowls. So I get 28 bowls out of that. It's a pretty good deal. And we will be off. I almost made a wooden pickaxe because I'm just very used to that um, routine. Always going down, getting the wooden pickaxe. It's just something I've done so many times. Um, but with the minor kit, you don't have to do that. So it's a pretty good time. So Let's go ahead and track someone named Chestnut, and um, we will see what happens in the Hunger Games. The MCPVP mod hasn't been updated yet, so uh, it's not really nice. I have the ugly coordinates in the top, but you guys will be okay with that. It's not that ugly. And uh, we'll try to get some kills here. So, Actually, look at that ravine right there. It would be kind of nice to mine with our miner kit, but it would be kind of boring too. Let's just try to get some kills. Uh, the forest field's nearby. I don't like the sounds of this. Oh, here's a guy. Toxic Beast. He's uh, lagging. And I got him. Thank you, sir. Alright. We can queue things out of your inventory. Did you guys know that? I found that out not long ago. You can queue things out of your inventory. I saw someone doing that in a YouTube video, and I was just like, wow, I can't believe I didn't know this. But that's alright, you learn something new every day when you're playing Minecraft. So, you got someone named G Mars. I need some more mushrooms, actually. It took me a while to get here, so... I need to get all the mushrooms I can get before I leave the swamp. You always want to be prepared, folks. Because you never know what's going to happen. The Hunger Games is not about fair 1v1s. It's not about fairness at all. I would like a fair Hunger Games. Um, but as long as it's not fair, you might as well take advantage of your resources. So, you might as well get tons of soup. And you might as well learn uh, how to quick drop. Because it's going to help you in the end. Now, if you're having fair 1v1s, that's a different strategy. You're not going to want to refill in those. Well, not a different strategy. It's a different scenario. You're not going to want to refill in a 1v1 where you agree to no refills. But in the Hunger Games, it's not the same environment. So a lot of people get that confused. But in my opinion, if you're playing the Hunger Games, you might as well go all out 
and just have fun. And I like to have fun playing solo. And so that is what I'm going to be doing here. If you guys haven't figured that out, not going to be teaming with anyone. And that's how it's going to go. So we had that first kill with the laggy people, or the laggy person. He was really only one person. And um, I'm going to lag right there because lagging is a fun time. I'm going to get a few more browns here and then make my way out of the swamp. I haven't really come across too many people yet. Alright, I think we're pretty much set. I don't want to run into the force field. That would be embarrassing for everyone. So, alright. Let's go ahead and um, make a few more bowls here. We got a couple more people in this game. Uh, G Mars is still on my compass. Uh, so we're going to head towards him right there. In fact, here's a guy, G Mars. I have a minor pickaxe. That's going to be nice. Oh, look at that. He's crafting. Hey, G Mars. What's up? All right. Good fight. Good fight. <laughs> we got some raw pork chop. Roses. What? He had some wood, some cobble. And look at that. He dug right down to iron. That's nice for him. We're going to take advantage of that situation. How big of a vein was this? It was a four vein? I can deal with that. Let's make... I'll uh, make two furnaces. Hey, there we go. That should do it. And we'll set these up. Burn some iron here. It's just nice to have an iron sword, and when you have the miner kit, you can make furnaces really fast, so it's not a huge time waster. So there's one and two. We're going to go ahead and make some... Oh, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you make a sword. And I guess I'll take this extra iron, too, just because you never know. We will make some more bowls, and... um keep these extra things here. I'm not the crafter kid. I do need furnaces. So we're going to take those, hopefully. Come on, furnaces. There we go. And we're going to tower out of this hole and get some more kills here. A lot of other people are probably getting iron at this point, which does not surprise me. That is what the Hunger Games essentially is. It's a race for iron. It's a race for resources. But the best strategy will dominate in the end. Some people like to PvP right off the bat. Some people like to run away and mine. And it all just depends on the game. It all depends on the situation. So we got someone named Destroyer01. This game's been going for 8 minutes. I have to update you guys because I don't have the mod. But that is alright. I got my Iron Sword here. Tons of soup in my inventory, so... We will see what happens when I find this next guy. Hopefully there's no Urgles in this game. Hopefully there are no Urgles. I really do need to use proper grammar. Have to be a good influence on you guys. Bad grammar is not good for your health. Look at all these pigs. I really want meat. But I only have three wood to cook them. That means I can only have four. Well, that's okay. We'll put two in that one. Wait. We'll put three in that one. And whatever. I don't care. One plank does one and a half, so that's why I have to divide it up. If I'm wrong in the comments, you guys can tell me. I won't be too offended by it. Alright, there we go. We're going to get one more pork chop out of this. And we will have a good deal. So that'll help me for a while. I'll kill one more. Ooh, I want to kill out more pigs, actually. Die, pig. This is really exciting, guys, don't you think? Alright, that'll be enough. One more pig. Alright, guys, I swear I'm done for now. Actually, there's coal right there. Oh man. No, there's too much water. I don't like water. It's 
just a bad situation to be caught in when you have water right there. But there's some cold not near water. Let's make smart decisions. Alright. That's what I need more than anything. Not iron, but <laughs> random pork chop. Um, what am I doing wrong? Uh-oh. I heard someone. Okay, maybe it was me. Whatever. Let's go in this cave. Creeper! Go away! Thanks a lot, buddy. Why are there so many mobs? I just want iron. Look at that. Combo right there. Alright. Let's just miner my way out of here and then get out. Yes, I like using kits as verbs. Miner my way out of here. Oh goodness. I don't like darkness, guys. It's one of the great challenges of the Hunger Games. Alright, let's continue on here. I'm just going to ditch my old furnaces. I don't think anyone's stalking me right now. I have 18 iron. That's a good deal. I hear footsteps. That's 23 iron. That means I need one more. One more iron, guys. Hey, stop it. I mind you. That was fun. Alright, that's the 24 iron we need. That's all we need, guys. Okay, that's a person. It's a specter! Or it's admiral. Yup, it's Admiral. Screw you, Admiral. Stop! Wow, really? Stop it, Admiral. You're gonna get in trouble for mod abuse because I'm recording you, sir. Alright, let's go ahead and get six, six, six. I really need coal. Where is that coal? Why do I not have coal? There we go. Alright. Now we're all set in the Hunger Games. So we have a teammate here who's not really a teammate. Admiral Mason. What a great guy. Oops, I want that cobble. Give it back to me. Alright, this should be enough for a chest plate here. And hopefully everything will be okay. We got six, we got seven. And there is the chest plate. Alright, he's gonna make me paranoid the whole game, but that is alright, folks. I swear it was a specter. But that was pretty good kit knowledge on my part, wasn't it? I know the kits really well. And if it wasn't Admiral, then it really had to be a specter. Alright, the feast begins in five minutes. And I need to get more iron. This is very important. Because I'm miner, I'm just going to mine cobble while I'm waiting. I also have two levels, so I can enchant my sword, like, really fast. Looks like all the iron is almost done. We're going to get some boots here. I am going to have a good time, guys. I have a lot of soup. And I'm going to be going to this feast. And it's going to be a really good feeling. One more ingot, and we are good. 
So we got the iron helmet here. We're going to get some soup. Two pork chops. Oh, what happened to my other? Oh, yeah, I was cooking pork chop somewhere else. Well, whatever. I have two pork chops. The feast is going to start soon. We are going to 14, negative 87. So let us head on to 14, negative 87. And it would be this way. Yes, it would. We're going to hope for the best in this game. There's still a handful of people in this game, so... Obviously have to be very careful. 14, negative 87. It would be this way. We got a sheep up here. Probably a chameleon. Oh wow, it wasn't. What a shocker. Alright, here's a full iron guy. Let's eat some pork chop. Taking a page out of pure math strategy book. Always have full hunger. And let's combo this guy. Alright. He's a viper. That's kind of scary. Vipers are definitely scary because they ruin your mobility a lot. Looks like he's throwing bowls, folks. He's refilling. This is going to be a long fight if this guy knows how to refill. I can refill pretty quickly, too. Alright, there's a lag spike. This guy is going to be hard to fight if it's going to keep lagging like this. He's refilling again. And he's probably got another hot bar yet again. So, see, I tried block hitting right there, and I immediately started getting comboed. That's what tends to happen a lot when I block it. Alright, I got him cornered now. This might be a good sign. Ah, oh, he just gave me a full soup. Thanks, buddy. How is this guy still alive? Yes! Thank you for dying, sir. That guy really was a refiller, but... Didn't quite work out for him in the end. Alright. I don't need that pickaxe, are you kidding me? Ooh, free bread. No thank you. I don't accept food from strangers. Alright, well he was a pretty good fighter and we got someone else running in in full iron. He's got lava. Oh no. Why would you lava bucket me, sir? That's not very nice. Why do I have to be on fire and poisoned? Alright. Oh, uh, here's someone else. Teddy doesn't have any boots. I might be able to kill him because he's bootless. Did he just refill? I think he did. Alright, got the kill. Feast begins in one minute. I need to get out of the water and eat some pork chop. Stay away from me. Oh, you cheapo. Don't use lava on a 1v1. And tons of crap in my inventory. Alright, getting the combo here, guys. And I got him. Feast is going to begin in approximately 30 seconds. And there's Admiral, who probably doesn't know I can see him, but that is just fine. Or he probably does, but that's okay. Alright, let's go through the, uh, oh, I need reds, that's right. I don't need a crafting table or leather. I don't need a normal iron pickaxe. I mean, a normal stone pickaxe, I'm a miner. Alright, let's go ahead and get this feast. I'm gonna use strength potions, because, you know. Strength potions are always a good time. Admiral's making me nervous, but that's his job. That's what primary mods do. We got an arrow here, some other stuff. Oh look, diamond boots. That's kind of convenient. Another ender pearl. This is a pretty nice feast, guys. I'm really happy about this. Alright, I don't think I've missed anything quite yet. 
I only need two string potions. Oh, I probably don't even need two, but it's funny. I think if you win the feast, you're entitled to as many strength potions as you want. Knockback! Hold on, that's garbage. There we go. That's what I want. Alright, I pretty much got the feast. I pretty much got everything I want. Let's light this sucker. Look at that knockback, folks. That is some knockback. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get this guy Troxen. There are three other people in the game besides me. They all have white names, so I guess that gives me a, a spurt of confidence. Hopefully they don't have any traps. I really hope that's the case, because traps are not fun. At all. That's really not a fun time. I got a pretty good amount of kits. Not kits. I got a pretty good amount of kills with the Hermit kit. And I'm not playing the Hermit kit. I am playing the Miner kit. Let's start over. I am playing the Miner kit. And I've gotten a lot of kills with the kit. See, I know this language really well. I've been speaking it for 19 years now. We got these two guys. Troxen and his friend. And we're going to go fight Troxen and his friend. whose name is... Pegleys. And they are on a team in this direction. Here they are, both in full iron. Well, let's begin the fight, guys. One of them's a viper. Wow. Hmm, that was kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how fast people are supposed to die. That was strange. They didn't even have any soup. They were starving. <laughs> Oh, gosh. That is pretty funny. Wow. Well, I guess that's how that goes. <laughs> Alright, one more guy. His name is Broskety. He's a viper. Everyone's playing the viper kit today. Well, there's the kill right there, folks. Killing him. And I win the game with the Miner Kit, Admiral Mason watching as well. It was a very good game. I would definitely recommend the Miner Kit if you like to mine, and I definitely like to do that. So that's why I like this kit so much. And here is the stats page. I don't know how many kills I got, but it was probably a decent number. And that is the end of this episode of the Hunger Games live series. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.